Hey guys, I'm back with my follow up to the my honey hole that I found and uh, gonna try to run through all this stuff. The, again, this is not even a quarter of what I've got, but I'm breaking it into several videos um, and this is just what I've thrown together or still had out that I can show you guys what I've picked up. Um, picked up a uh, old McFarlane well I don't know how old it is but it's not new anyway uh, McFarlane monsters uh, this is the Dracula they're kinda small for for McFarlane's figures they're a little bit smaller scale than what I like too but it's a nice little diorama setup I mean it, it's it's pretty neat it probably look pretty good once it's set up and displayed but uh, there's the Hunchback, Werewolf, Frankenstein, and then the Dracula. I've got the Dracula. Um, picked up some more Volkswagens. Um, which the Volkswagens is pretty much all I, what I'm after. I, I love to get the Volkswagens, the Beetles, and any of the Volkswagen vehicles. But we got the, the pink and blue when I found these guys. That, uh... Walmart or Kroger one I picked up two different times and then the two custom Volkswagen Beetles in the red and blue and uh, the Brasilia and I had this in another color and uh, got home and I didn't have it no more so I don't know what happened <laughs> anyway uh, Dino Riders you guys remember these These were awesome whenever we were little or the uh, dinosaurs with all the weapon attachments you could plug up to them and get this guys I almost thought of his name but um, my mind just went blank mask <laughs> mask figures these are these the vehicles and stuff are incomplete. I mean, this is missing the the small wing part and the shield for this. But other than that, uh, everything still works. As you remember, they always done something cool. They popped apart and just turns into a little airplane. And this one here shoots apart. This turns into the jet. And then what you got left with is. Oh, the little cab pops up here. Anyway, the GoBot cap gun. Uh, picked this up, which I always love this just because of how it looks. It just looks like a cool old robot, but it transforms into a double barrel cap gun. All oh, this flips over. Let me see if I can just open the barrel up. And then there's where your caps go. The way these flip around, the head turns around here. It's hard to do with one hand. Then you got your double barrel cap gun. Oh, the, the stock actually, these pull out like that, both sides, and then it goes together. Right, Y'all get the picture. Uh, picked up a old Mad book, which I love these magazines when I was younger. Um, this is actually from 1968. I had no idea it was that old whenever I seen it, but uh, turned out to be a first edition, 1968. Um, the main thing that I left off from the first video that I wanted to show you guys bad was uh, this, the Matchbox. I don't know if anybody remembers the Max FX figure, but this is the Freddy Krueger version. And uh, this is my favorite thing that I've gotten right now for my monsters. I'm trying to build a good monster collection of figures and stuff. I always loved all the old monster figures and, and everything. So that's what I'm working on right now, the, the hardest for my collection. Um, I'm trying to find and get all the monster stuff that I can find. And I uh, thought this would be a good start, but this is the Freddy Krueger. It comes with the full mask, the gloves, 
hands, hat, boots, pants, the shirt, I mean the whole nine yards, and it's never been open. I mean the box is rough shape, but um, really neat, man. I'd love to have the whole set of these. There's a, they actually got the alien figure for these guys, Dracula and Frankenstein, but I thought this was really cool. I picked this up from that guy. Um, I think I got this for $10, I believe. I don't remember. I, I believe it was $10, but anyway. Um, monster in my pocket. I don't know if any of you guys remember these. These are the little rubber figures, and they're all monsters. It was from the line, not pocket monsters, but this was. these were called monsters in my pocket. I uh, got a bag full of those. Food Fighters. I picked up, uh, he had four of these guys that I grabbed. This one actually still had its weapon, the rifle with it. But, uh, man, I loved these things growing up. I, I had every single one of these when I was growing up. All the vehicles, um, all the figures, which there isn't many. I think there's only eight total figures, but the line wasn't massive and it didn't last very long. But, um, a couple of the old, the metal marble figures. Magneto and Juggernaut. Picked up an old Iron Man bendable. A miniature uh, Mad Balls. These guys were the big rubber squishy balls uh, with all the crazy faces. This is like a little rubber miniature, probably out of a quarter machine. Um, picked up this. I don't know who this figure is. Maybe somebody can tell me. I'm hoping. She's got a... Uh, she looks like chain from Darzan, but anyway, she's got a little uh, pitchfork ta tattoo. My camera's not good on focusing in close up, but no, it's a yeah, it's a pitchfork. She's got a tattoo of a pitchfork on her right shoulder. But uh, anyway, that old I used to get these when I was a kid, man. The old He-Man Masters of the Universe magazine. And these things were all, I, I almost passed out when I seen this. Fall of 1988. And these things were just loaded with all kinds of cool stuff. And it has, each uh, magazine has a poster of the He-Man. It's got old cool toy uh, advertisements in there. There's Boglins. In the back of each uh, magazine, it had a comic episode. But uh, these were really cool, man. I loved these things as a kid. Uh, he had a Wicket. Goes Fishing Ewok Adventure book, which I love Ewoks, so I grabbed it. Um, anybody that says they don't love this movie as a kid or watching this or growing up at Christmas is, is lying, so just admit it. But I had to have the Macaulay Culkin doll. Man, I seen this and I just, I instantly, I, I loved it and had to have it. Stuff from the Home Alone movie one. Uh, he actually talks. He's got a he's a pull cord, but his box is messed up a little bit. <laughs> he actually sounds like a chipmunk now, but anyway, I thought he was really cool. This is a really old Smurfette. This is from like 70-something, I believe the tag says. Um, got that. My best, my favorite thing so far, I, I got my little Mogwai of Mr. Um, what was that? Okay. Anyway, I finally got me uh, Gizmo, uh, the plush, and this is the original plush, like one of the first ones when the line was released. Uh, when the movie came out, this was one it made from applause. What's the date? I can't remember what it was. Uh, maybe not. It's a '84. 84 from applause, but I was super super happy to get this um, Picked up these man. I thought these were really neat looking these are like uh, replica stones and rocks and they look really really nice and, and realistic um, Some of the these smaller ones are just solid pieces, but they're just plastic rocks I don't know what they're from or you know uh, what they came from, but I figured I'd grab them. They'd look good maybe in a diorama or displayed with something, you know uh, They really look nice though. They're 
really good replicas. All right, almost to my grand finale. Picked up a Slimer. This is like a, kind of like a puppet, I'm not sure. I mean, it, you can, it's got a spot where you can put your hand in, and kind of move his mouth and do stuff with him, but I'm gonna take this part where you put your hand and fill it up where he's, you know, plush full size and, and hang this guy from the wall. Um, I picked up a ton of Ghostbusters stuff, which I'll show in my next video. I mean, a ton of Ghostbusters. Probably enough stuff to fill his tail. I even picked up the firehouse. Uh, like I said, this ain't even a quarter of the way through of what I picked up, man, from this guy. Um, I've been on a buying frenzy. But, like I said, I'm going to slowly but surely get to all of it, what I've gotten, and show you guys. And, like I said, uh, if I can help you guys out with anything, send me a message and tell me what you're looking for. This guy's got a little bit of everything, so there's no telling what he's got. Uh, from a toy line that you may be looking for or something that I can help with um, Grand finale of this I got to finish this video up for us too long again These guys these are the plushes And I absolutely love this is my favorite find so far these guys are in great shape um I mean, they got their original capes and everything on them. These things go for a ton of money, too, on eBay for some crazy reason. Like I said, I try to stay away from eBay as much as possible. Those guys are, are toy murderers on there, man. But some things I understand that... And I, I'm not going to lie, I still get a lot of things from me. I actually just bought me some uh, some Ewoks off there, which I'll show you guys some of uh, the original 80s figures. Um, and I'll show you guys on my next video, but man, very happy about these. Um, but anyway, that was my little, my little haul. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on a monster trip, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm on a monster hunt. <laughs> I'm trying to find me, uh, all the monster figures and all the cool monster stuff as I can find. I've, man, I want so bad the Marvel Legend monsters. Like I said, I didn't even know they made any. And uh, I was watching someone else's YouTube video of their toy collection, and uh, that somebody had a set of them, and they are phenomenal. I never even knew they made a set of monsters, but very, very cool figures. So I'm definitely going to try to hunt some of those guys down. And like I said, I'll open this up and set it up. I'll show you guys in a video how everything looks once I set it up. Like I said, one thing he's good for your McFarland stuff, man, is his diorama stuff that he sets up. It's got the little stake to go in the heart, the coffin. Uh, I mean, it's a whole backdrop, which is right here. You can see it, but uh, this art will look pretty cool displayed up. And Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video, man, and uh, I'll have you guys another one up within a few days, maybe not as long as the last one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.